Hey guys, today's an exciting day. You've probably been working with recursive and explicit formulas and today's the day we actually get to like use them for their real purpose. Now, if you are not familiar with these, I'm just gonna refer you to a video in the corner that you'll probably wanna watch before you dive in here, but you know, it's totally up to you. So I wanna find the 20th term in this sequence, okay? So first of all, we need to know what the pattern is. So what is happening each time? Well, we are adding five each time. So that tells me that this is an arithmetic sequence. And so I want to find, okay, well, first of all, I could just keep adding five till I got to the 20th term, right? But I don't really wanna do that, but that is an option. But I wanna use math as a tool to help me find it without having to add it so many times. So we are going to figure out the explicit formula for this sequence, okay? I know it's arithmetic because we are adding the same number over and over again. So I'm going to use my little formula here, but we're gonna talk about it as we do it so we're not just memorizing it, right? So A sub N, which basically stands for whatever number you wanna find, plug that in for N, is equal to the first term in my sequence, which in this case is five, plus D, which stands for common difference, or basically what are we doing each time? We're adding five, right? But not just once, that would give me the next term. But what about the hundredth term or all these other guys? Well, that's where we multiply by the N minus one. Now, why do we multiply by N minus one? Well, I want you to think about this for a minute. If I were looking for the fifth term here, right here, I'd add five again, right? And end up with 25. Well, to get that, how many times did I add five? I added one, two, three, four times. So that's where the N minus one comes in, okay? To find the fifth one, I'm going to add five, one, two, three, four times, or five minus one, which is four. All right, so that's, that's why that is the way that it is. But we're not worried about finding the fifth term. We want to find the 20th term. So we are going to plug in 20 for N. All right, so A sub 20, or the 20th number in my sequence, is equal to five plus five times 20 minus one, which would be 19. Because isn't that true? If I were to do this the long way, get to the 20th term, I would end up adding five 19 times, all right? So let's go ahead and fill this out or continue it down. So a sub 20 is equal to five plus five times 19, which happens to be 95. And five plus 95 is equal to 100. So the 20th term in this sequence, a sub 20 is 100. Isn't that cool? All right, now, if you were like, okay, lady, I could have just added 519 times and that would have been faster, right? Okay, maybe it would have been in this case. But as you do it more and more, you're going to get more, I was gonna say more faster. That's probably not proper English. You're gonna get faster <laughs> and be able to do it more quickly. Or pretend they wanted to know the 500th term in the sequence. I don't want to add it 499 times. So it's helpful to know this formula, right? Okay, let's look at this one. This one's a little more complex, but that's okay. So what are we doing each time here? We are multiplying by three each time. So because I'm multiplying, this tells me that this is a geometric sequence. So I need my geometric explicit formula, which I happen to have right here. So we're looking for the 20th number. So let's figure out what our formula is going to be. A sub N, or whatever number you wanna find, is equal to the first number in your sequence, A sub one, times the common ratio, or basically what is the pattern? What are, what's changing each time? We're multiplying by three, right? But how many times? Very similar to over here, 
one less time than whatever number you want to find. This is the fourth number in my sequence, and how many times did we multiply by three to get there? Three times, all right? So that is where the n minus one comes into play. So that's my formula. Now let's use it where, let's change color, because I like that, where n equals 20. Hold on, we'll do red, okay. So I want to know the 20th term in this sequence. It's about to get crazy, guys. Just, just hold on, all right? So we want to know where n is 20. So a sub 20 equals 3 times 3 to the power of n minus 1, so 20 minus 1, which is 19. Okay, here's where it's about to get crazy, guys. You, you probably remember exponents grow very fast. So... When I plug in 3 to the 19th power into my calculator, guess what I get? I get 1,162,261,467. But we're not done. We need to multiply that by 3. Okay, so a sub 20 or the 20th number in this sequence is three times this big number, 3,486,784,401. Woo woo! See how those just grow very, very quickly. All right, that is the 20th term in that sequence. I hope this helped. If you need some more problems like this, some more review on these formulas, I'm going to link a whole playlist for you. Hopefully you'll be able to find what you need there. Thanks.